Egos and the Chismo are in the air tonight. The competition for the prison's weightlifting championship is about to begin. three classes. We're going to start in 10 minutes. Lifting weights on the street is a little different because you got everything out there to be happy about. But being in prison, here it's in a very oppressive place, so you got to find ways to basically uplift your spirits and not salt. So this is our kind of way here in the gym. You know, when we have our bad days, you know, we'll just come in here and we'll release that pain because we don't want to release it on no inmates, you know what I'm saying? What these weights does, they alleviate a lot of aggression that one could definitely turn outward toward another human being. It channels all of that negativity and all of that uh, energy built up during the day of not doing anything. This is the glue that keeps us together. But... Whenever I give you the okay to, uh, to squat, my arm go down, I'm going to say squat to him, go down and come right back up. Don't wait on me. Oh, and I'm going to do that tonight, I'm going to take the racket. Right. No, don't wait at the bottom. Okay, bar's loaded. Here we go. Set it off, LL. Talk to it. Talk to it. Talk to it. Get Good eye. Here we go. Yeah, I won a state state champ this year in the 220 weight class. But it, it makes me feel good to be a you know to be a champ. State champ? I ain't the champ for nothing. You got some of the hardcore dudes in prison, you know, and everybody want to be the man in prison, really, you know what I'm saying? They want to shine and want the big name, you know, but sports is what make you shine in here, you know, not what you had on the street. People don't care about that. They don't, you know, that's the same penitentiary stories that you hear every day. Here we go. Linebacker status. Guys, here we go. Good Good lockout. I got money, There we go. Good day. Bring it up. Go to it. Racket. Stay chill. Good job. I refuse to lose. Stay chill. Good job. Good job. All natural, baby. Good job. I like, I like when I have to fight something. You know what I'm saying? It take a lot of pain away that I go through. A lot of stress, you know what I mean? That's what we do it for, for the love of it. For the love of it, yeah. Bell, you next. Where your mind at? Yeah, where your mind at? does a good job getting yourself. I have six other brothers. And a lot of them off into uh, bodybuilding or powerlifting. I got a couple of brothers who are professional powerlifters. But I've been involved in weights itself since I was 11 or 12 years old. Everybody's competitive in the family. That's a family tradition, you know. Uh, always pushing the envelope. Good concentration. Yes, sir. Squat. 
Down we go. Get down. Right now, I feel powerful, I feel positive, and I don't feel that there's anybody in this prison in my weight class that could uh, outlift me in any other, in any given day. About a year and a half ago, the rivalry between the white and blacks was pretty bad. And this time, they're rooting for each other. They want everybody to succeed. And I, I noticed that myself. I, I, I like that part of it. Because uh, in here, in here, it's just, it's not white and black. It's, we're all together. That's the whole experience inside me, man. You know what I'm talking about? Don't look at Hank. Look at what God can do in any man's life. He always gets fired up. He gets all the rest of them fired up, too, when he does that. You know, he ain't paying attention to everybody else. He's just, he's in his own. It's a technique sport. You know, if you don't have the mechanics and your technique right, you could really be hurt. I've seen some guys break their backs on the street and in prison uh, doing squats. Squats! Here we go. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come Same my day. Yeah, it's gonna be better. Yeah, we, we win in our weight class. That's that's <laughs> yeah. that's the main thing, you know. Yeah, right. We just going for all time personal. You Monday, know what I'm saying? Our Monday's best, you know. Be the best. Yeah. I just couldn't execute those last two lifts, man. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. I had it, but it just rolled on my neck. I couldn't recover. Yeah. You know, because I felt myself. I felt myself here. Yeah. Coming up. But yeah. I just could have had to dump. But you was up higher than there. You you was that far that far from locking out. out. Yeah, Man. yeah. We still got two events. We got the bench tomorrow. Yeah, we went in on. And uh, the deadlift is going to be the best lift. Yeah, it's going to be the best lift. Day two of the prison's annual weightlifting championship is underway. Bell Gibbons holds the state prison's record for the bench press in the 220-pound division. Tonight, he's going for 420 pounds, five pounds above his state record. I gotta wait for the uh, judges to say rack. All the yelling going around, I couldn't really hear him say it. This may be a sporting event, but the participants are far from ordinary. In this weight room, there are murderers, armed robbers, rapists, and standover thugs. The one thing that unites them is their criminality. 
this is a dangerous room because if somebody gets out of line and don't care, take a five pound plate and knock you out, you know, you're done. And it's never happened yet. Nobody's nobody's used one. We had a guy come out of the basketball court one time, took a plate and was heading out the door with it. We stopped him. He was going to go out there and use it as a weapon. Fender Bell got into it with a fellow over there, and I went and got right in between them, and I probably shouldn't have. They were they were like faced off to each other and doing this thing, you know, and I. Uh, I, I stopped that because they, they were both big guys. One, two, three. That day he was mad. I knew if I didn't go over and get between them two guys and they got hooked up, I was going to have to call in troops because <laughs> I, I would have been able to handle it. But he, he backed off. But, uh, you know, once they got started, you couldn't stop them. You, not by yourself. But they have enough sense, too, to know that if they ever do anything in here, it's going to go down the tubes. So they, they protect that a lot. Bill's getting in far ready for him. Gibbons is now sitting on the bench. Getting Harry Lane's back, getting a hold of the bar. Waiting for the signal. Here we go. Full lock down. Pause. We've got the press signal. Weightlifting. A lot of officers would like to take it out because they think if they get big, but a big, a big old tired weightlifter is a lot less of a threat than a little skinny guy who's out there doing nothing, walking around. Bell and Givens come in here and for an hour and a half just give it all they got. They don't have enough energy to get into any trouble when they leave here. Yeah. You know, the more, more I can get them to do, keep their mind off of other stuff, you know, this is a bad place. You know, it's, it's a real bad place. I wouldn't want to live here. <laughs>